So, this is our interview for the Carolina Manga Library. Let's start with an introduction. Who are we interviewing today? Uh, my name is Laura Mahaffey. I am the founder and head librarian of the Carolina Manga Library. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, uh, let's just uh, go over for anyone who isn't familiar. The Carolina Manga Library is a traveling library of manga that goes to conventions in the... Um, Carol how, what's your range? We don't have a range. We'll go as far as somebody wants us to. As far as someone wants you to. And then you'll set up your own bookcases with your entire collection of manga and graphic novels and some web comics. I understand. We have web comics, regular comics, um, newspaper comic strips, and manga. And then there's like a relatively quiet place for people to sit down and read in the middle of the loud, noisy convention. It's quiet until you realize that everyone wants to be in here because our collection's amazing. Yes, and but you know, I've, I've found that people mainly maintain the law of silence. Okay, <laughs> so how did this project get started? Well, we are really good friends with folks down in Columbia that run a convention called NashiCon. Mm -hmm. And I went to college with one of the girls who was one of the original founders. And she knew that I had a collection of about 500 manga personally. And she said, hey, Laura you're in library school, come bring your books to me and we'll run a little manga library for our con. And I said, sure, that sounds like a great idea. So we went and we set it up and we ran this little tiny library and then my good buddy Charles came up with this brilliant idea. He said, Laura, you can take this thing on the road. And I said, oh, that's a great idea. And now it's four years later and we have 5,000 books and 12 conventions a year and no free time. Nope. <laughs> All right, so you said you studied library and science, and on your website it says you were a librarian. Um, I still am. Oh, you still are. I now, am. What's that like? Um, it's actually pretty fun. I work at a college. I work at a technical college right now, so mm -hmm. I do a lot of helping kids with resumes and things like that. Mm -hmm. But in my free time, I do these book talks to schools, and I just try to help teenagers and younger kids understand that it's okay to read comics, it's okay to read manga. They still count as reading. Because, I mean, our whole lives we were told, go pick up a real book. I hate that. <laughs> All right, so uh, what conventions do you regularly attend? Well, let's see. We do Ichiban Con here in, here in Charlotte. We also do Hoshi Con and Triad Con and Nashi, Nashi Con. And, oh, let's see. I'm going to be in Ohio in two weeks for Ohio Con. <laughs> That'll be huge. That's a clever name. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you said uh, 5,000 books currently? 5,000 books currently. All right, and uh, what, what would you say you have most of in terms of genre? Um, actually, we try really hard to make it a really good mix. We have something for just about everyone except pure on hentai. But we do have some stuff that's borderline hentai. <laughs> I do have uh, Tango Tenji in here somewhere. All right, um... All right, is it difficult to get a quiet space during these conventions? It's not anymore. Once Now that we have our own room, most, actually all conventions, we, they have to give us one of their panel rooms. Mm -hmm. So even at a convention like at Ichiban Con, where we're directly next to the dealer's room, it's still fairly quiet in here. All right. Um, do you host other events at these conventions? We do. We usually do a couple of panels on um, different graphic novels that you can enjoy that we recommend. It's called The Great Graphic Novels You Should Be Reading. And unfortunately, I'm not doing that at this convention, but I do it at every other convention we go to. Uh, what do you find most rewarding about this project? I absolutely love it when someone comes into this library and says, oh, You have a favorite series that no one else has ever heard of, and oh my god, you've read it, and don't you love it? At least ten times a day. <laughs> I mean, it's my favorite thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's in the future for the library? Well, right now we're fundraising to try to get our own vehicle for the library. Right now, unfortunately, we have to rent in order to tow our huge trailer full of books. <laughs> um, eventually, our plan is to open up permanent locations across the country and be able to let people take books home and enjoy them at home and then mail them back to us. Kind of like a manga Netflix. That would be amazing. Wouldn't it be amazing? Yes, because that it really does slow you down because... You can't store every manga you want to have. Uh, just right. the two series I'm trying to get everything of, Tramps Like Us and uh, Red River, 20-some mm -hmm. volumes each. Oh, yeah. That'll take up most of my little tiny bookshelf. That's All what right. happened to me. I had to give up a whole room of my house to manga. <laughs> the whole room. I mean, it's better than when people give up an entire closet to National Geographic. That is better. Yes, <laughs> it is better than that. <laughs> All right. And uh, last question, fluff question, favorite manga. Oh, God. How much time do you have? I How have much time do you have? <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, you mentioned Red River. That's one of my absolute favorites. 
Um, I absolutely loved Skip Beat. I wasn't expecting to love it, and 37 books later, I'm still loving it. I still, I, I personally lost track of it because it went on so long. Of but course. It was really surprisingly good. It was so funny. It's still funny. I just finished reading the most recent book last week. So good. I, I did um, a one chapter one review where I, I basically just sat and riffed the first chapter, and there was still so much material mm -hmm. for when she first loses her oh, goddamn God, it's mind. So funny. <laughs> oh, man. But um, I've been reading comics since I was, you know, tiny, tiny. Mm -hmm. And what started me off was ElfQuest. Hmm. It's, from a, it's from the 1970s, and it's still being published today. Wow. But it's a high fantasy series about a group of elves that get um, burned out of their homes in, a, in the woods. So they have to go out into the rest of the world and find the rest of the missing elves. It is, hands down, the best fantasy series I've ever read, and it beats Tolkien. <laughs> and I love Tolkien. Them's fighting words. Them's in this fighting words. Oh no, you got it. No, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. Um, if anybody wants to learn more about our organization, it's at carolinamangalibrary.com, or you can find us on Facebook and Twitter. All right. I've already followed you. Yay! You better follow me back. I already did. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs>